Pro Boxing fans here with Huey Fury. Huey, um, we're here again, another press conference, another fight week. Looks like you're ready. This time the opponent's not going to pull out, hopefully. We're here on Wednesday, your fight's on Saturday. Just talk to me about how you've been. You know, we know you got the fight got cancelled uh, in Monaco. How's, how's that sort of been? Has that been a hindrance to your preparations? I'd say it's only really ever come for a reason. It's only just made me get back in the gym and put me... Um, just develop myself more, even more so. Just to work on the games and the stuff I'm working on. And it's just uh, improved. So I'm just looking forward to now just showing the fans and uh, the public um, what I've been working on. Yeah, you're 25 years old. And Eddie mentioned it over there. Some of the names on your resume are big names. You are Jose Parker, Pavetkin. Um, there was someone else as well. Kubra Pulev, sorry. Uh, somebody that's 25, that's a very experienced position that you're in. Do you feel like, even though they were you know, very close fights and you never came, you never got the right decision at the, at the end of them fights, that that steads you in better preparation for world title opportunities coming forward? Yeah, 100%. I believe it puts you all instead for where I am today. So it's, um, yeah, it's made me a better person. I'm just looking forward to now is, uh, is just showing the world what I'm capable of doing. And what do you want in 2020? By the end of 2020, what would you be satisfied with? Being, uh, being right in position for world title again. And obviously talking about world title trust, I need to talk to, talk to you about your cousin, somebody that you've been around with. I know whatever there is, but I need to talk to you as, a, as somebody who's quite established in the heavyweight division like yourself. Your cousin Tyson Fury went out and beat Deontay Wilder in great fashion. Uh, talk to me about the tactics. He said that he would beat him up and finished him off in the second round. Obviously, he did stop him eventually. But did you see that coming from Tyson? Like you say, you could tell what he was going to do with the heaviness of what he weighed in at. So when he weighed in that heavy, he wasn't going to box. He done exactly what he said he was going to do. So, and you've got to give uh, full credit to him. He put on a great performance. And obviously, the, the fight that everyone's calling out for, therefore, is Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Do you see that fight being made this year? Um, yeah, I see that fight happening. Like you say, it's got to happen, hasn't it? You want to get through um, him again, um, the fight's got to happen, I think. Well, what did you make of Deontay Wilder talking about the sort of heaviness of his costume, weakening his legs? What, what, do, you, what do you make of that? I can say it's an all that excuse. When he said at the end he doesn't make excuses and all that, at the end of the day, the better man won on the night. Yeah, and that there to me is just uh, basically just a weakness, saying excuses about it. I don't think that's nothing. Another press conference after, you, after this one is Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin, somebody that you faced. Uh, Dillian White seems to be a name that, you know, that's in the radar, that's waiting for this big opportunity, and you seem to be wanting a big fight as well. Do you see you guys colliding at some point? Yeah, I think that fight will happen eventually. Like I say to you, I do, let me first do the talking, and uh, when that fight happens, it happens. I'm not afraid to fight anyone, so when these happen, they happen. These are what I want. I want these big fights. Here, the sort of criticism uh, regarding yourself is that if it's not sometimes a big fight, sometimes you may not turn up. Uh, do you feel like that's a fair criticism? Uh, say again? Do you feel like the bigger the fight is for yourself, the, the more you turn up for that fight? On Saturday night, you might not be facing an opponent that you know of, you know much of, but will we be seeing you know, 100% of you if you're in that ring? Yeah, listen, like I said, you've been working a lot of things. You can't underestimate anyone, so you couldn't see a great performance by me. Hugh Fury, what, what can their fans expect on Saturday night? You said a great performance, what exactly can they expect? A completely different Hugh Fury. Like I say, you can always say in there something. Obviously, I'm going to show you on the night and uh, it's going to be exciting. So you better all tune in because, trust me, it's going to be fireworks. Hugh Fury, thank you very much for talking to Pro Box fans. I appreciate that. Thank you very much.